Hello. In this video, we want to talk about uh, log reading. We want to solve some problems in log reading. Uh, this is just a form of revision to what you have learned so far in log reading. The question we actually remind you of the principles, the laws you have uh, learned so far in log reading. Now, looking at this question, we are given log 10 base 10. I mean, log 2 base 10 is equal to 0.301030. And log 3 base 10 is equals to 0 0.477121. We are asked to find log 1.5 base 10. Let's deal with 1.5 really first. What is the equivalence of 1.5? Because 1.5 is a decimal number. What is the fractional equivalent of 1.5? You know, 1.5 is the same thing as 15 all over 10. Beautiful. So that implies that we can what? Without wasting our time, we can generate, uh, uh, you know, we can replace this log 1.5 base 10 with 15 all over 10. So, therefore, log 1.5 base 10 is the same thing as what? Log 15 all over 10 base 10. Yes, I hope that is clear. Okay. So, now, this is the same thing as log 15 base 10 all over log 10 base 10, yes. According to law of indices, I'm sorry, law of logarithm that says that if you have log, let's say, x a over b, that's according to the law of logarithm that say log a over b base x, you know, can change it to what? Log a base x all over log b base x, okay, yes. That is it. So that's what I did there. And don't forget that uh, what we have here is 1 because log 15, I mean log 10 base 10 is 1. So we now have what? This is now what? Log 15 base 10 all over 1. Okay? <clears throat> now, how do we solve the problem? That, is, that should be our, our next point, you know? Next thing now. So this is going to be what? What is uh, log 15 base 10? No, log 15 can be written as uh, 3 times 5. This is base 10. Yes. Okay. I hope you can get that. Fine. Fine. So in order to get um, 2 from, in order to get 2, because we are given 2, this can be written as uh, log you know, 10, you know, log is 10, 3 times 10 all over 2. You are wondering what is the name of this? Yes, yes. We want to this, we want to make sure we got set 10. We want to get 5. You can replace 5 by 10 over 2. So, um, that will give us what? That will give us, I hope you are following. Please, if you are not following, let me know, please. Let me know in the comments, comment section. It is very simple. We are just following the rules of logarithm. What we have been doing so far is we are following what? Okay, we can, I have to clean this and later make use of uh, notes to know the values given. So let's clean this so that the board will be able to occupy or accommodate uh, other things. So now, this now be what? Log. Um, Base 10, 3, multiply by, we can separate that, log, yes, 10 all over 2. So, now, this log, log 3 base 10 is given as what? Okay, let's, let's, let's finish the analysis first. This is what? Log 3 base 10 times, you know, 60 times, log, you know, 10 all over log 2. Yes, I think that is what it's going to be, okay? Because uh, we are we assume that the base here are the same as ten, just like this. So the natural base there should be ten, okay? So if we continue this with this. I have uh, I have this, so we can now say this is what log three according to what we are given is 
log 3 is 10 is what? Let's check that. Let's check our note. The value is what? 0 0.477121. Beautiful. Plus, yes. Log 10 is 10 is naturally 1. Minus, okay. What is log uh, 2 base 10 that was given for us? I mean, to us. Log 2 base 10 is given to be what? It's given to be 0 0.3. 0, 1, 0, 3. 0, okay. Then, uh, that is log 2 base 10. So here we now have 0 0.477121 plus. So subtracting this from the value, <clears throat> let's subtract this. The value should be 0 0.6, I think the value should be 0 0.69897. Okay. Now, I think that's the value. Beautiful. Now, you know, we had over one. Now, over one is not direct division like that. So we have to subtract uh, because it was log 10 base 10. And um, we have been given the values of each of the log rating. So whatever we get, we have to be subtracted from. Yes, that over one that let me, let me call, remind us, you, you, you remind you, where we have log, um, I think 15 all over 10 is 10. You know, I change it to log uh, 3 times 5 is 10 all over log 10 is 10. And I said, this is 1. Yes, it is not going to be that um, you are going to have log 3 times 5 is 10 left. No, this one <clears throat> will be what? Subtracted. Yes, because this is division. So, and you know, in division, when you have log, when you have log uh, A, I hope you are following, please. Log A all over log uh, B. No, log A all over log B. Same as what? Log uh, A minus log B. I hope you, are, you can remember that. <laughs> Let me write it clearly. It's log uh, A minus log B. That is the, the, the principle of div uh, division in logarithm. As the principle of multiplication is going to result to addition. So the principle of uh, division we resort to uh, subtraction. Again, log A all over log B is equal to log A minus log B. So that is the principle there. So the one we obtain here must be subtracted from uh, whatever we get up here. So what do we have up here? If you add everything up here, let's see. Let's quickly look at that. Uh, the values are, we're going to have what? Zero point, let's add. Okay, let's try the addition ourselves. Anyway, you know, that's, we have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So let's assume that the last one is six there. So, so by the time we had everything together, you have what? One, I had seven, nine, you know, nine, ten, zero, one, seven, plus eight, fifteen, sixteen, remaining one, seven, plus um, nine, yeah, sixteen, remaining seven, Oh, this is oh, I've not been let's 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 add it this way. Let's add it this way so that we don't run, in, run into trouble. 0 0.477121, 0 0.698970. Okay. 1, 9, 10, 15, 16, 17. Uh, this is 11, one point. Yes, this is 11, one point. So it's going to be what? 1.176091. Then minus the one here, the one down. That the way that we say we cancel out. It cannot be cancel out that because this is not just uh, logarithm that involves uh, because we are we are actually applying the, the division law of logarithm. So the one must be subtracted. So when you now subtract one from this, you know what? 0 0.176091. So uh, take your time to study it. You will understand it is very easy. Now, well, let's move to the next question. Let's move to the next question. We have actually taken some time to explain that concept. So let's move to the next uh, question. The next question says, the next question says, if, or let's, if, let's say, if y is equal to, if y is equal to log x base 9, Find, 
find what? Find the uh, log 3x base 9. In terms of y. In terms of y. Okay? Yes. Now, what how do we how do we express log uh, 3x base 9? Log 3x base 9 is same as log, you know, let's because 3 is common to them here. Let's say log base 3. Or we put it like this. Okay. Yeah, this is okay. No, let's take it. Let's let let's do let's, let's jump. Log 3x base 9 plus. You know, because we are multiplying here, yes, uh, log x base 9. Yes. You know, 3x will be log 3 times log x. And so by the time you change the uh, multiplication, you get addition. Or, uh, okay, let's, let's, let's do it gently. Let's do it step by step so that we don't rush. Good. This will be what? Log 3 times x base 9. You know, it's the same as log 3 base 9. I hope you are getting it now. Times log x base 9. So you're now going to change it what? According to the law of uh, logarithm, when you are multiplying logs, you change it to addition. So log 3 base 9 plus log x base 9. Beautiful. Now, Moving on, fine. You can see that we have our y is log s base 9. So this will now imply what? Log uh, 3 base 9 plus y. Now, remember the question says we should express our values in terms of y. And we still have log 3 base 9. What is log 3 base 9? Now, log 3 base 9 will be, recall, in logarithm, if you have log a base b, it can be written as log a all over log b. Yes. Yes. So I hope you don't have very good. So in that case now, in that case, how do we now write log 3 base 9? Now let's let's clean up. Let's clean up and uh, see what this one is going to give us. Let's clean. So you know, we're targeting log, what? log 3 base 9. So log 3 base 9 can be 3 is common, of course, so we can say log 3 base 3 all over log 3 base 9. Yes, yes. How? What do you mean? How did I get that? Fine. Since 3 is a multiple of both of them, we can, we can replace this base 9 with another base that is a multiple of this 9. So, and you know, like I just said now, log A base B is same thing as log A all over log B. So I can even equally, equally put any base here, but the base must be common to them. So if I put any base here, it must be common to A and B. So that's what I've just done. I've not done anything so special. So this one will be now log 3 base 3 all over log 3 raised power 2 base 3. Yes, you simplify this now. So you have what? 3 base 3 is 1 all over 2 log 3 base 3. So we come here according to the law of logarithm. Fine. So you have what? 1 all over 2 times what is log 3 base 3? is 1, just as you have done here. Log A base A is 1, you know? Uh -huh. So when you have the same base with the same, with the, with the same base and this, uh, the same, uh, <clears throat> you know, the same base with the same number or the integer, you are going to have the same value. You are going to get the same value. So what I'm saying is 3 will cancel 3. So you have what? Half. Now, therefore, you know, the question says, therefore, let me clean it up. Therefore, therefore, log 3 base 9 plus y is now what? Log 3 base 9 is half plus y. So the value is half plus y. So let's look at another question. Let's look at another question. Before I will give you, I will give you an exercise to, you know, to do, which is going to be submitted in the comment section. Let's look at another question. This question I obtained from uh, internet. There are some questions being submitted from the internet. 
So now let's solve. Let's solve for this uh, value. For x. Oh no, we have done that. We have done that. We have done that. Sorry. Okay. Uh -huh. Evaluate. Evaluate. Evaluate log 64 base 16. Yes. Let's evaluate log 64 base 16. Okay. Now, moving at, looking at this, uh, this can be written as the normal logarithm, say log 64 all over log 16. But it would be ideal to look at a value that is common to them and, you know, place it there. So they say, let's log 64 base 2 all over log uh, 16 base 2. Yes, yes, look for that. So now, what is log 64 base 2? Now, I pick 2 because 2 is a multiple of 64 and 16. Okay, that will be log. 64 is what? How many? 2, two raised to the power 6 base 2 all over. Log 16 base 2 is what? 2 raised to the power 4 base 2. So, which invariably means the bring 6 here, 6 log 2 base 2 all over 4 log 2 base 2. So, this we cancel this out. We have what? 6 all over 4. And this what? What goes here? 2 here, 3. 2 here, 2. So, the answer is 3 all over 2. You can see how simple it is. So, um, let me give you an exercise to do. I want you to do this exercise and submit it in the comment section. Do this exercise and submit it in the comment section. Some of you are doing the exercise without submitting in the comment section. That is not good enough. So submit so that if you have any problem or you don't understand, we correct you. Okay? If you don't understand, we give you more explanation. And you make mistake, we then we try to correct you. Given that, um, y raised power t is equal to 49. Okay? Find log y b 7 in terms of in terms of in terms of t. This is an interesting question from the internet. It's an interesting question. So find log seven log, log y b seven in terms of t. So if you enjoy this video, okay, it's an exercise, don't forget, which is to be submitted as soon as possible. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumb up, share it with your colleagues, friends, neighbors, anybody. Like and comment. God bless you.